guys, it's Mon. I'm hanging out with Rob on Front Row Live. I hope you guys enjoy this one because I did too. I'm a brand new fan. Your latest music video for your latest single, Love This More, it really like struck a chord in me. And like, I just like immediately had to like jump in and like figure out who you were, what you're all about. And, you know, glad that we're able to do this. So thank you for taking the time. Yeah, of course. I'm stoked. Um, I'm glad you like the song, though. That's one that like we definitely like poured everything into and 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 did a lot for the music video, you know, and um, we're happy with how it turned out. So I'm glad it struck a chord with you because it definitely does too. Like for me and Dylan, my manager and producer, like it's kind of one of those songs that like definitely was personal to us too. So it was definitely one we, we kind of love. Right. And it's, it's, um, I always wonder how like artists are able to be so vulnerable the way that they are with their music, especially with a song like this one, because not only was this a, like a personal experience for you, but for your video, you chose to go back to that, uh, particular place of where it all kind of happened. So um, talk to me a little bit about like being comfortable opening up the way that you did with this track and what really like kickstarted the writing process of this song. Yeah, um, it's definitely been a little bit of a journey to be vulnerable like that. Like, you know, we've been doing music now. I say we, I mean, my manager and I, who's also producing most of my stuff for like almost two years now. And like when it's starting, it, it is hard to open up like that, but we've got to the point where we've we've seen like the benefits of being completely vulnerable and seeing that those are the songs that do better and not only just like numbers wise like it's just it seems to resonate with the fans more and so it's better for them too so it's just better all around to be more vulnerable um and i've really became comfortable opening up like that the writing process for the song it started honestly i was actually in this room like sitting on that couch back there and i was just thinking um about I guess we can give some background too because when you say go back to that place we're talking about this music video we're going back to this beach this beach that I proposed on to my ex you know um 19 years old got engaged on a beach in Florida um felt falls through now fast forward what almost three years right so actually just over three years and I'm back in the same spot creating this video um and just trying to be vulnerable with that and and really give people an insight into what happened and so that's kind of the background on what the song's about but i mean the writing process was really just kind of thinking back on that and like realizing it's never ever and could never be the same um and that's kind of where i got the idea of like like i, I will always love her and like i but i loved us more like i loved us together more and it's just never going to be that anymore so kind of just went off of that and i kind of just typed it up on my phone and it kind of sat around for a little bit and then we circled back around to it and finished it up and we're like dang we need to make a music video for this just the title alone loved us more i feel like that that alone is, is is just powerful enough just because like that is really the feeling that you know a lot of us do go through when we go through a relationship like that not necessarily a proposal but like just a serious relationship with someone and then you guys break up and then you still have that love for for each other but yeah you you will always love us or or you know that relationship more yeah. so that was such a fresh touch to like a heartbreak song just because like that's something I haven't heard before. And it's, it's interesting because when you listen to love songs, you feel like, or heartbreak songs, you feel like you've heard it all, but this, I mean, you came with something brand new, you came with something fresh. So, um, you know, the writing process of this, like loved us more. When did that happen for you? When did you identify the song and that lyric specifically? I think that was almost the first thing I came up with. I think it was like, like I said, I was just thinking about, you know, thinking about her and, and we had recently touched base before I wrote the song. Um, and we actually met up and I realized after that, I was like, it's just never going to be the same. I'm like, I'm always just going to like us more. And that's like the thought in my head. I'm like, I'm always gonna, I always loved us more. And then that's kind of like where I started clicking. And then, and then I, the first thing I searched on Spotify, I was like, has they made me a song called Loved Us More? And I'm like searching, I'm like, how has nobody made this yet? And uh, so I'm like, I got to do it. And uh, yeah, so I just started writing and it just poured out really fast. Like, I just remember it was like, it was hook and the verse came so fast. And then it took a while for the, the, the pre it was definitely like the longest part. But like, I mean, overall, it just came together really fast and, and the words really came to me. So um that's kind of the process of it, but it was just truly, truly, truly inspired from like real life stuff, like hundred percent, like literally meeting my back up with my ex again after a couple of years and then being like, it's just never going to be the same, you know? And, and that's just really what the song stemmed from. And as far as like the actual production of it, you say um, your manager is also your producer. So what does that 
team effort like when you guys are in the studio and creating music specifically with this track? Yeah, I mean, I think specifically this track even it is kind of looks the same as a lot of our other tracks. We've kind of gotten to this flow where it's definitely not traditional to say like we literally live in the same house. So we definitely could be working side by side and stuff, but that's just not how we work best. Our songs usually go like this. I will. It'll be me and a guitar. Write a song um, with just a guitar. We, we, we cut that and, and get some demo vocals for him. And then he just goes in and he produces around my vocals and guitar. And then that's exactly how the song was done. So I had some pretty bad demo vocals, honestly. Um, and, and then over just that and the guitar, that's all I had. Um, and then I just sent him the logic file. We literally just send the file over and he just produces right on top of it. And that's what we came up with after about a few days of producing, he does like most of production. Then I'll go in and like tweak a few production things to get it like the way I envisioned. But I don't even know if I should say the way I envisioned. Cause really Dylan just puts his own vision onto what I already created. And normally they line up really well, but we've gotten into this flow where it's just like, I can write and he produces on it. And while he's producing, I'm writing the next song. And it's just like, it's this like flow we've gotten into that, Honestly, I don't know if that's traditional. I don't, we don't really like <laughs> work with a lot of other people or talk to a lot of other people in the music industry, but like, that's just kind of how we do it and it works well for us. So that's kind of how that one happened. When you guys first moved in together, you guys attempted so many, so many things to kind of get your music out. Um, and like you kind of said, like uh, failed attempts, but like what, what was that artist development process like between the two of you or for the two of you in order to get to where we're at today with Loved Us, with Loved Us More? It was kind of grueling. Like I'm gonna be honest. Like we didn't know. Like even now, I mean, we get along really well now, and like we really learned, you know, um, just about it. Like each other relationally, we've learned a ton, and, and we've really become close. But like the, the first the first year and a half was just grueling. Like it, there's so many like you said, there's so many failures. Um, you know, we left. We both dropped out of college, came to Nashville. Like so stoked for this whole music thing, and then like you've never lived with this person. So so many things like always, you know, button heads on things all the time, not getting along, and like putting on music that nobody's listening to like it's just it was just it was tough at first and so it was really just persistence and like putting out lots of music and seeing what works and seeing what doesn't work and it was just tons of trial and error I feel like that really got us to where we were for this loved us more one but it was really not until I would say maybe five six months ago that we've like kind of figured out what's going to work best for us and really started like putting our heads down and going for that and it's i think kind of working and, and we've found that our our kind of our home base if this makes sense i want to say that like our home base for like growth and for putting stuff out is like youtube now like we found that that's where we can build the most intimate relationships with our fans um that's where we can talk to them the best that's where we can show who I am, show them my personality, connect with them in such an awesome way. And um, people on YouTube um, love to be a part of something like a lot of like they just do. And so we found that uh, YouTube is a good hub for us to kind of be our home base and kind of go from there on things. With doing that with YouTube, you guys are also able to create some legit music videos. It's not like anything that's half-assed, like you guys are taking your time with, with everything. Um, so talk to me about that creative aspect between the two of you and and working on these videos. I know you were shooting something yesterday as well. So like, yeah. what what is that like? Do you guys pretty much have that rigorous schedule where it's like, okay, time to write, time to produce, time to release, time to shoot. Like, what does that look like for you guys? Yeah, we're like just getting into that. We're like this, like we're trying to put out, um, you know, a song every two weeks, a music video every month. So we know like we need to get this done, this done, this done, this done. We need to shoot this week to get it done for this week and start premiering it then and, and so on and so forth. It's really, oh, my mic fell way down. It's really turned into like this, like i don't know how to explain it. it's just really turning this boom 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 type thing if that makes sense that's not a great way to explain it but i think people get the point and so the process for the video has actually turned out to kind of be easier than expected because like it's not just me and dylan when it comes to the video we have a guy that we use every time now his name is jake heidecker and his company is jelly house and he's ridiculous he's our age it's not possible without without our, our friend jake and um and what he does, it's turned into like, I have this like slight idea for a video. I throw it at him and he writes down a bunch more ideas. We bring over ideas together. We come up with a shot list of what we want to get shot. And then we just go and shoot it on his camera. And it's like just three three kids making music videos and, and we don't necessarily i mean like i, de I don't want to say he doesn't know what he's doing but it's not like it's this 20 person set with with 
cinema cameras and stuff you know it's just like three kids and we're just trying to figure it out and i think these videos are coming out really well for for what we have um but i can't speak highly enough of jake and, and jelly house and all the work he puts in and he's really in i guess he's like he's committed to the goal like that's why we want to work with him so much too is because me and dylan are on the same page where we have this like huge vision and jake's finally on board with that and he sees it and so like he's like pouring his heart and everything into this um and not always getting like paid the full amount that you think like i mean like obviously he's not shooting videos for like the biggest artist in the world but like those videos are worthy of like those are pretty like high dollar videos like if you look i mean i i think he's he's worth a lot and he's really like taking cuts now because he believes in the vision so i just can't speak highly enough of jake and what he pours into every single video like he pours everything into every video and that's always good especially because you know you don't get this kind of team until you actually are a major uh, artist so the fact that you have this kind of um this 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 team with you behind you while you're you know barely figuring out your music and getting releases out and getting your fan base growing I feel like that's a great way to kind of kickstart the whole project. But again, like that's probably another reason why um, this song ended up being so much more powerful because, you know, the video, the, the visualization that you get while you're listening to these lyrics, um, it just impacts you even more. So it, it's cool that you have that, you know, that opportunity to do that with your music now. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it really is. Even for me, like, looking back at my own work, it's, it's hard. Cause you have a biased opinion. You have like a clouded judgment. You don't really see it for what it is all the time when it's your own work, but like, there is something about having a visual to it that elevates the work. And, and so like, it's, um, of what I was saying is just that like, you know, even from my perspective, I see, I look back and see that video and it like elevates the music almost just like, like you said, like seeing the visual behind those lyrics, just kind of adds another like level of, like just like beauty to the to the music and i'm not gonna say that like you can't listen to the song without the video and it's not gonna be good like i genuinely believe it's a good song but there's just something about having that visual behind it that that creates something bigger than just a song right now aside from this like video team that you have well i mean this whole team that you have you also seem to be collaborating a couple times with uh with delaney or delaney um yes which most recently you just released another song with her, but what is it about that collaborate? Uh, what is it about her that made you want to collaborate with her over and over? And, you know, how did this kind of happen between the two of you? Cause honestly, I feel like both your voices mesh perfectly together. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I would agree. Her voice definitely blends well with mine, but it, it started out like maybe a year or so ago. And it's funny cause she was still in high school and she like, put a song out on soundcloud and she was like commenting like oh check out my song on soundcloud like the spam comments and i saw it on my soundcloud she commented on one of my songs i was like uh, another spam comment but for some reason i was just sitting i was sitting on a plane and i was like um might as well check it out and so i uh opened it up i was like wow i was like this is a good song it was her song um come home that we actually ended up i mean long story short i just hit her i was like hit her back and i was like yo this is sick do you want to create a duet on this song that she wrote um and she's like yeah let's do it made the song called um come home she had already written um and i just hopped on it and we put it out under me and it did pretty well um and, and i would say the reason we've chosen to continue working with her um over other people or just her in general working with her um is because this is like something that dylan is also huge on like you hear her voice and like she has a really good voice but on top of that there's nobody that sounds like her so like that's something that's really big to us and so like that's why we have her now as part of like for that and so many other reasons she's just an amazing person she can even produce she can um engineer a little bit like in like for women in in the music industry like producing and engineering your own stuff is something that you don't see a lot and like it just shows she's really passionate about her music and her craft and she and she wants to be good at everything she wants to know how to do, like how the whole process works and she wants to have her hands on everything i think that's an incredible thing so um for so many different reasons we're like we should keep working together so we created something called friends make music um and uh yeah so she's the the other artist of friends make music it's just an artist um like collective and so it's me and her right now and we're just starting small but um yeah so we've just like you said that song we just put out um i don't know if i should say the title we can call it ifik i don't know what the rules is here um but yeah i mean it's i'm effed i know and, and that song did really well too right off the rip and and i think it's just 
our voices just go well together and I think it worked out, but I mean, yeah, but there's a million reasons why we're working with her and I could go on and on about how great she is and all that. Well, I mean, don't stop what you're doing. Cause uh, like I said, this song really struck a chord and I'm sure all your other material is going to also like, you really know how to bring us into that story that you're writing about. Thank you. So um, thank you for doing that. And uh, congratulations with, with yeah, thank your you for success so far. I appreciate it a ton.